I am super excited to bring this Taskmaster deck to you today. Ever since he was nerfed from a 5 cost to a 6 cost, he has fallen out of many decks, but it is time to bring him back. I believe that Taskmaster was nerfed because of two cards. There is Human Torch and Dagger. And when Taskmaster was 5 cost, you could also beast back the Dagger and also play her on the last turn. So, by moving Taskmaster to 6 cost, you can no longer beast Dagger and play them both on the last turn. So how do we get around that? With Ravona, She reduces Taskmaster back down to 5, and she also reduces the cost of a couple of other cards. Dagger, who just builds up to a huge amount of power, and Madame Web, who can move your cards around. Both Beast and Falcon can bounce your cards back to your hand to continue to build up that power. Human Torch just scales to astronomical levels. With the help of Aranya, Ghost Spider, Iron Fist, Doctor Strange, and Hercules. This deck is an absolute powerhouse. You don't need any tech cards. Let's get into it. Okay, first up is my Pops. We have a decent opening hand. Dad has eight cards in his deck. Wasn't a very nice fellow, so let's see if I can exact some revenge. How come you ain't never liked me? Like you? Who the hell said I got to like you? My next turn will in all likelihood be Ravona. This is either a zoo or destroy deck. Crimson Cosmos is difficult along with nowhere. I will play down Ravona here, and then I can play Hercules, right, if they're not gonna clog me up. World Forge, I will accept. Crimson, perfect. I will play Hercules here. I really want to snap because I'm probably with my four energy next turn playing Madame Web, Dagger, and then Ghost Spider. Snap. I will snap. I can play Madame Web into World Forge as well to manipulate where the Widow's Kiss is. I could play her into Nowhere. Oh, they just are splashing a White Widow into their zoo deck. Okay, Murder World does not get us. And now it looks like a Torch play instead. So Madame Web into Torch. I can't play them all. Are with Falcon. So do I not play Madame Web? Do I go Human Torch? Ghost Spider? Falcon? Let's do that instead and see what I draw into. You only have to win two lanes with this deck. We have Ravona down so I can always play Human Torch and pass master on the last turn. Let us see. Sakar. <sighs> so let's go Madame Web. Human Torch. I could guarantee I pull up... Yeah, I can guarantee with Sakar and Beast. Play Ghost Spider here and then Dagger here. That fills this lane. Human Torch gets big. I pull that back in with Beast. We are super well positioned. Super well positioned. So there's the Madame Web. 
There is the ghost spider into the human torch. That's a 32 power human torch. That will solo a lane. <laughs> and then we have dagger. So I'm pretty sure I just win. Life and subscribe. Isle of Silence and Aranya. So if they have blue marble, one, two, three, four, they get to 19. This with dagger. Ugh. But I also, ooh, ugh, this is going to be disgusting. This is why this deck is fantastic. You don't need Taskmaster because what I can do here is dagger here, get the buffs here, get the buffs here. I plug this lane with Human Torch. And then I just play out these two. So dagger ends middle. This is just filthy. This deck is filthy. And there's, there's nothing they can do to win this game. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. This deck is just disgusting. Ravona really greases the wheels with Madame Webb being able to get dagger down. Where, wow, we got a, I think that was a non-toxic Miss Marvel. <laughs> Or maybe it was toxic. <laughs> I will never know. But this deck is just raw power. This is why you don't need tech cards in this deck. If you have bad draw luck, as every deck does, just retreat. But this deck works more often than not because even if we drew into Taskmaster, we now have a 32 Human Torch and a 32 Taskmaster, but we have a 24 Dagger. GG's. Okay, next up we have Turtle Blood. Whatever that means. New York is nice for our deck. Human Torch is nice too. Do I just snap right now? Yes. <laughs> I will play Aranya down middle. Uh-oh. Let's check out their profile. Okay. Decent collection level. So they may know what they are doing. Let us find out. Or maybe they don't care much for Silver Conquest. Rickety Bridge. I will hold. Okay, I will play... <laughs> oh, I will play Hercules here. Blue Cage, so is this a Hella deck? I will... Activate Aranya. I will play uh, Human Torch. And then I will play Falcon. Okay, that gets up to eight. Bring that back. And then. I can beast the middle lane. So I can Human Torch. Into Ghost Spider into Beast. And I need to draw into Taskmaster. And that is a one in four chance. Because Hela will absolutely destroy me because her cards do not die in Rickety Bridge. Because Rickety Bridge is after each turn ends. And Hela is at the end of the game. 
Oh, they want the Hella now? So, they also are running the 25% <laughs> challenge. Let us see. We definitely win New York with the Human Torch. We do not win that. I mean, they only have one card. <laughs> oh, it was a one in three challenge for them. So this wins here. And then we just never play Doctor Strange. <laughs> I could. I could yank Doctor Strange over here and we could try to win that gamble. Because I don't need Hercules' power. We will do that. Ravona. Aranya. And Iron... Fist. Fantastic. So we we pulled it out. They could not draw into Hella. We could not draw into Taskmaster. So we both lost our big power, our big uh, effect cards. And in that case, our deck was stronger than theirs. Victory. And it's important to also win these, be able to win these types of games where neither person draws what they need to and getting 12 points of power here pulling the Hercules first with the Doctor Strange though those are the subtle moves that you can do to win you games that you just might not realize if you just take a deck list and don't see how to pilot it but getting creative like this Getting enough power, 12 power, that's going to win most of the time. Because if they have a Magneto or something here, if they have Magneto here, who cares? My torch still solos that lane. But if they have a Magneto here, it ties and it still solos. And I think that's all they could really play otherwise. So knowing these little tricks that you can do to pull out squeaker type wins is pretty important okay next up we are against awesome owl Aranya. and then uh, what is this an eight card deck madam webb probably in eternity range mindscape oh beast now becomes a turn four play um, with Dagger, let's go Madame Web here. Okay, so a Flood deck all likelihood. We will almost definitely not be having Mindscape. Breaking news. And Hercules. So, we will put good old Herc here. I will snap, and I will end my turn. Next turn, I will play Dagger, and I'm holding on to her because hopefully I draw... Okay, it's a Surfer. Dream Dimension. Let's get down... Ravona first. Oranya into Dagger. And let's get a huge Dagger. And no matter where Dagger ends up, I will be able to beast her back. Because if she ends middle, I will move her and get another trigger. And then beast. If she moved left, I would just beast next turn. Oh no. Iron Lad? You murdered him. In Sokovia. <laughs> the 
game hates me. Oh, the game hates me. I will still move Dagger here, and we will go Beast. Okay. Because as you see, I would have been able to do the combo of a one cost dagger and a five cost taskmaster so it would have been a 26 dagger a 26 taskmaster and that almost assuredly wins the other lanes can i hit torch <laughs> with the one and three this is a pure content play pure content play Let's go Iron Fist into Iron Lad. And if that is a human torch, it moves here. Then it moves back middle because of Asteroid M. And I will just play the dagger over here. And there's no way... I could tie middle. Okay, there is the Ultron. And let's see. <laughs> what a dumb game. She didn't realize you never get this chance twice. Oh, what an absolutely dumb game. The game taketh and the game giveth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so as you can see, I would have won anyway with the 26 dagger and the 26 taskmaster. I had to go with the roll the die one in three chance, 33% for Iron Lad to hit Human Torch. So I still, I played a 26 dagger and a 24. So same difference. Uh, I hope you see that it could, that how it would have worked with Taskmaster. And it's just a strong play, but we were able to pull it out in a very weird fashion this game. Okay, round two into a destroy deck. My RNG last game was god awful. So we will hope that I have better RNG. I will get the Oranya down now, because even though they have Killmonger, let's see if I can bait out that Killmonger. Get Ravona down. I need Falcon. So I've taken priority. That is a good thing. Beast. So I cannot, in good conscience, <laughs> play down Human Torch. Because I have priority and the Killmonger could be showing up. Okay, they have priority. Now I am free to play Human Torch. Or do I play Dagger? No, because it's after the fact. Oh, this is awkward. Aranya into dagger because so what i'm thinking is i can buff the dagger to just enough so i can pull pull it back with doctor strange oh i guess this is a killmonger oh no it's not okay and then on the last turn i can play human torch into Ghost Spider into Luke's bar. So that is my thought process here. Oh, snap. So it's just doing nothing this turn. And hopefully they have taken priority. They have taken priority. I definitely need to change my underwear. Eight power Deadpool. Enough said. Bob. 
dagger is 13. So play Iron Fist. That moves Torch Middle. Ghost Spider. And then Doctor Strange. Because the dagger will always be big enough. The throne. Okay. There we go. So this is how you play against destroy. I think that is important to show. Come on, I'm still getting nervous for some reason, but this is definitely enough points because dagger without the move is enough. <laughs> the sorcerer supreme. So you want to be you want to be a little careful. I think. Even if, yes, even if the Deadpool were middle, and even if the Killmonger were middle, actually, because Dagger just gets even more points. So this was always going to be a winning play. And knowing how to navigate against destroy and avoid priority so you can get down your torch or pick it back up with your bounce cards. Okay, the potential last round against a destroy deck. Monster Metropolis. I have... I have the bounce cards to duck Killmonger. So that is what we are going to do. And how we do that is you play Iron Fist here and Human Torch here. That way you gain priority. Because Monst Human Torch should be more powerful than any card they can play on two. And maybe we can bait their Killmonger. So get down Falcon now. There is no second thought. Because if they get down, they did not play Killmonger. Okay, so I could have waited and got down Hercules. Said, Bob. Let's see, let's see. Do I get Hercules down now, or do I get the Madam? Let's go for Hercules now. Next turn is Iron Fist, Human Torch, Beast. And then it's, what do I draw into? Ravona. They have priority. I don't think it matters. Iron Fist, Human Torch, Beast. And they should still have priority. This deck, you can really do a good job of managing priority depending on what you are playing. Or who you are playing, what deck you are up against. If you know they're unlikely to have tech cards, you can leave your big power cards on the board. Like, I can leave Dagger on the board in this matchup, fine. Human Torch, I need to constantly make sure he's off the board. So I just continue to duck priority. That is all this is. We just duck priority. Now, my best pull, of course, is Taskmaster. We're winning middle, thanks to Hercules. That's nice. And a Ghost Spider. Unfortunate. I actually could go over the top. They have priority. So let's do Iron Fist into Human Torch. That bounces it over here. It bounces it back. But now I pull it here for its final resting spot. And I can play two of my cards, so we will go with the two biggest power, which are these, so nothing gets pulled. I like it. Perfect. So they were locked into this match, there was nothing they could do. We beat a null no matter where it's played. Or we win any, you know, we only have to win two lines. They had to play middle. 
thanks to Hercules. And we dominate the left side. We, of course, win the right side. And that is how you navigate a game, or games, if I included them, against Destroy. They, of course, got us, but the plenty. But the one thing you have to remember, this is a bad matchup. <laughs> Me playing into Destroy is not a great matchup. So you really have to be careful when piloting the deck against Destroy and knowing when to take priority, when to duck priority, where to play your cards, when to bounce them, when not to. So this deck is infinitely harder to pilot against Destroy, but it definitely can win, clearly, against the Destroy player. Okay, next up we have Umbra Domini. Avengers Compound is kind of annoying. So that will end up being my beast lane. So I'll need to keep it clear. They have a normal deck. Nico plus two next. Maybe it's a destroy deck. Well, I know where I am playing this turn. And now Hercules to the right oh that's a uh, fancy play look at umbra showing off danger room and <laughs> i mean i guess and if hercules survives i snap So get Madame down, Aranya into Human Torch, into Doctor Strange. I think that's fine. Four, eight, okay, this is fine. Over there. And then hopefully Human Torch goes middle, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Eh, it's not. He is still to 16. Clear for takeoff. We have Shuri. I still have no clue what deck I am playing against. We go with Beast. I can't move a card into Hercules lane. I could move a Rania. And then I just have a free... Zero power to reposition. That's all it would be. Yeah. So I don't think there's any harm in that because I can always replay her middle. Cannonball. Hmm. Iron Fist. So if we had Taskmaster, you could see how this would work. We would play Iron Fist into Human Torch. Human Torch moves here. He's 32. So this is just predicated on do they... Why are they snapping? I'm confused. Iron Fist... Yes, Iron Fist here. Human Torch here. Oh, I have all my one cost cards up. I'm at five energy. So let's just play Doctor Strange here and Falcon here. And then we play Iron Fist, uh, Aranya, Iron Fist, Human Torch. Oh, they took my Taskmaster. Look at this! Look at this person! <laughs> Look at this person emoting! Look at him! Oh, how confident and cocky! Oh, I'm 
been recording for longer than I'd like to, uh, over an hour at this point, waiting for just to try to capture the perfect game, what I think Envision is the perfect game. I don't know how you could argue against me ending on this game. <laughs> because of the combination of locations, this is why I was fine with 10 points in the Danger Room. They were just going to have to gamble their cards in Danger Room. So me loading up there, who cares if I lose the additional six points? 10 is good enough, but I need to abandon one lane because I was never going to win all three in this specific matchup. If I had Taskmaster, like I said, but clearly he was on the bottom of, of uh, my deck. <laughs> So if I had him, then I could have won all three lanes, potentially. With uh, Iron Fist, free Human Torch. So like I said, yes, and I would have played Taskmaster middle, Taskmaster would have won. So I could have won all three lanes if I had that card, but I didn't. So we pivoted, courtesy of Danger Room, courtesy of Iron Fist into Human Torch, and courtesy for a cocky player who last turn snaps. Thank you for reaching this far into the video. It helps the channel. And a thank you to all my members. You also help the channel. I hope I was able to show how effective this deck can be in a number of different ways. Every game, of course, isn't going to be using Taskmaster, but this deck can just put up so, much po so many points that you can easily win other lanes, especially between Dagger and Human Torch. So there are multiple ways to win this game, multiple avenues. It can go over the top of any deck and the power output and the use of Taskmaster and the use of all your move cards and bounce cards. It just all comes together in many different ways. And I hope I was able to show you. As always, let me know what you think of the deck. Oh, they took my Taskmaster. Look at this. Look at this person. <laughs> Look at this person emoting. What? He tried to play you for a 